the purchaser of a black servant was persuaded that the color of his skin arose from the dirt contracted through the neglect of his former master. On bringing him home, he resorted to every means of cleaning and subjected the man to incessant scrubbing. The servant caught a severe cold, but he never changed his color or complexion. What's bred in the bone will stick to the flesh. Alright. That was a Aesop fable translated by George Fowler Townsend. Uh this is folk tales for grown folks. I am Hatim, Brother Hatim. That was the story the Aethiope. Um a lot of people believe that this is in a sense uh a story about Aesop himself, or in some form or fashion, it may be exaggerated, but, um, and, uh, Ethiop or Ethiopian is where, um, Aesop's name come from, um, so, let's get into the story, first off, it's hard to believe that there was somebody that ignorant, um, that upon hearing a rumor or a suggested idea, they went home and followed through with the vice. And even after it was shown that the vice wasn't true, they kept trying to make it true. Um, I'm quite sure none of y'all out there ever did that. You never heard something and and and, and went home and and acted as if it was true for you never heard nothing or and just it um uh, included in your it in your life the idea in your life as if it was the truth even after people have exposed to you that it's not the truth you know of course none of my listeners will be like that of course none of us have ever grasped onto ideas that just didn't fit reality None of us have ever done that. None of us have ever followed and listened to someone that totally didn't make any sense. None of us. We we haven't done that. We wouldn't do that. No. Nah. No, nah, not not none of my listeners. No. Nah. We we haven't done this ignorant thing that this man has done. We have never done anything like that. Okay? You know, so I, I it's kind of hard for me to define this story because it's so hard for me to relate just like it is for some of y'all out there to relate. We have never done anything like this. We have never heard, listened to gossip or listened to our elders or, or listened to people who said something that may have not been truth, but then we started acting on it as if it was truth just because they said the purchase of a black servant was persuaded that the color of his skin arose from dirt contracted through the neglect of his former master. <coughs> the point I'm trying to make is that a lot of times the beliefs that we have in our lives, the ideas that we have in our lives are not originally generated. They are caught sort of like a cold like a virus we catch these things and in catching them we automatically take them as truth so we act in ignorance the thing that i want to make sure that all my listeners do and you can remind me because this is why we do the journey together so we can remind each other that we need to ask the questions why how we need to learn to ask questions you know what I'm saying? Even at times when it's uncomfortable so that we can make sure that what we may be about to embrace is true or not. Anything, any truth that can't be questioned is not truth. Let me say that again. Any truth that cannot be questioned is not truth. Actually, truth thrives on questions. Truth grows stronger through, through questioning. That's how you know it's truth. 
You know what I'm saying? You only know it's truth by asking questions. If you can't ask questions, it's not truth. Truth can stand up to questions. All right? So, this is Brother Tim saying peace. I'd like to thank you for your time. Um, thank you for your ear. You know, feel free to check me out on Facebook. Feel free to check me out on Google+. Plus. Follow me on Twitter. Um, go to my site, www.jamiejourney.com. Feel free to leave comments on the station right here. Um, this is Brother Hot Tim saying peace, and I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are.